Hello, Mario! In this video, we're going to site the garage. But it's going to be something a little bit different. Because we're actually going to go and create another plan and then X-ref it into our main drawing. So let's get on and do that. So here's our plan here that we had with our thing and we're with previously with our house sited. And we're now going to put the garage up in here somewhere. But we're going to put it quite close to the boundary. More about that later. So we're going to actually just create a standard garage. A 6 by 6 metre garage. So we'll just go new and we'll new file. And we'll just use this um, template here. The ACAD ISO template and we'll just go open okay there it is there in all its glory uh, I could have used perhaps one of my temp one of my templates but I'm just going to use it like that let's just check it check it for units obviously that's quite important um, decimal I'll just stick that at three I think uh, degrees minutes and seconds so this is something I usually check on most plans I do clockwise we want north the direction to be north okay and millimeters that's fine all right so we're just going to draw a um a garage what we, we would call it a six by six garage so uh let's just get cracking um we don't seem to have a oh yes i'm still in the full screen mode so there's my ribbon let's go home here got my properties there so oh let's just well draw a line probably the easiest uh, make sure we've got um, ortho on turned on the ortho right so let's go that way so 6,000 6,000 would be that much 6,000 6,000 and then we could just push uh, C for close and it'll close it all up and there we have our nice little garage there. Um, well, the exterior of our garage is six by six, uh, six meter, meter by six meter garage. Um, that would all be dimensioned up in in, in a, another full set of plans somewhere else, one would imagine, with all the details. But as with AutoCAD, no need to redraw things. So let's offset here. Uh, 90 and uh, let's get some walls in here uh, like so like that there okay there's our little six meter garage all good and um, then we'll um, now we should really um, be thinking about layers here so um, yes let's uh, have a similar layer, a new layer properties. Um, bring our layer properties uh, over to the to the party. So there's our layer properties there. Let's uh, put in a new layer, um, and let's go with wall lines. Wall lines would be good, and uh, let's just keep it uh, keep it there so let's just uh, go with a red uh, red layer did I have red for, for my wall lines I'm not quite sure um, oh we can always change that later and um, new layer wall hatch okay so that's all good there um, all right I might just have to go back to my um, drawing, drawing here, just to check what colours I had. Um, I'll just get rid of my wall properties there. So, um, oh, my wall, my wall lines were. Ooh, what colour were my wall lines? Um, I'll just turn off my wall hatch. So I've sort of forgotten. Um, wall hatch just turn that off so my wall lines are actually white 
and we'll turn that back on. Okay, so back to this drawing here. Um, I always think it's a good idea just to save your drawing. So let's go file, um, save as at an early junction. Um, so this is for the cat. I'm just going to call it, I'll just call it um, garage uh six by six so that it's just so it's all saved okay and our wall lines yes they um going back to our layer properties our wall lines should be white okay so uh select the color and we always select this white here in the primary okay and always select um, the white there which is should be white okay so this is perhaps a timely reminder um, of our um, you know how we set things up and keep things now by layer by layer by layer and this all in here should be um, in the wall lines layer remember we don't put anything in layer zero wall lines like so so that's that there. Um, just I like to have my just my line width. My personal preference is to have yes, that's set at 0 0.5. So that's all good. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of trimming in here. TR to get that trimmed. Okay. Alright. Trimming. Um and in here like this trim trim okay trim 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 and trim and trim okay now okay we might want to um put a window in there so we're going to need some um new layer a uh, uh, new layer we're going to need a window layer windows and we're also going to need a new layer um, for doors okay and um, perhaps another new layer roof lines okay cool um all right so let's uh let's just get out of there so we've got that all sorted there so um in terms of a window uh i might just put a oh i don't know a 2.4 window in the back so and um, these here should all be uh in our wall lines so um, let's um yeah, we're going to put a window in there in the middle, 2.4, I think. So I'll just go line. At this point, we're not dimensioning it. So um, just in there, that's the midpoint. So in there like that. So we'll offset that um, 1,200. So uh, offset, enter, 1,200, enter. So that'll give me a, a 2.4. Uh, that side and that side so let's just go TR trim and we'll just trim everything out of there it's all cool and we'll just delete that okay um, I don't have any 2.4 window blocks this is just a one-off window here so um, oh that should be in uh, this should all be in wall lines here. Um, wall lines. Cool. Okay. So let's just um, put that window in there. Um, window. So that's just going to be a 2.4 window in there. So let's just go. Um, oh, our windows layer is, should be um, red. Okay. Red. Okay, all right, so just put our window in, line, line, 
line, line, C for close, and then we go uh, offset, enter, uh, 50, like that there. Okay, and then we'll put um, a line down the middle representing the glass. Mm. Like so. And I think that's um, pretty consistent with what I did with the windows in the previous uh, thing, but I'll just have a chuck. Yeah, that's pretty much. Oh no, I did a, a little double line there for the glass. Ooh, very fancy. So um, let's come back to here. So um, just go offset enter um, 0.005 or something. Just um, for the. Got a bit fancy there. Offset enter. Offset, enter, enter. Um, doing so well. Oh, yeah. So I have got a little windowy thing in there. And we'll delete that scene one. And we'll delete it again because apparently I've got two of them there. Okay, so that's my little window in there somehow. I don't know. Perhaps I've gone a bit too, bit too complex on there. So there's our little window in there, and then we'll put a door in here. Um, I'll put a 2.4. I'll put a 4.8 door in there. So uh, let's just go line enter. So this will be in the front here. And um, it'll be like a sliding door. Okay, um, we'll put that in there. Okay, so that's going to be a door. So that should be in the doors there. Okay. Okay. Um, well, actually, at this stage here, we're just working in wall lines. Uh, put the, and then we'll put the door in afterwards. So, um, let's go off, uh, put that into wall lines, that one there. Uh, make that into wall lines. Okay, and offset into 2.4. So we'll have a 4.8 wide sort of rolling door. It's not not quite what we wanted. Let's um, control Z. So that's offset enter two four zero zero. Okay, um, like so. Okay. All right, and we'll just. Trim that out. Oops, no, that's not right. TR, enter, enter. That puts our door out, takes our middle around there. Now I'm just going to stop there on the wind, on the garage, uh, and I'll come back and do some more on that. We've gone up to 14 minutes, so that'll uh, just get us started on the garage and just prep help to refresh what we did on the house. So, cheers. See you.